Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, in today's video, we'll try to get the default data which is needed to create a record in an object. So might be sometimes you're having requirement like you have to show the default data which is needed to create a record to your client. I mean, before the client can create a record, he should be able to see the default data which is needed to create this record. The default data can contains like uh, field name, APIs, data type, and a field is required or not. That could be anything, right? So guys, in today's video, we'll try to get these default data using a UI record API in a custom lightning web component. Okay, so let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. All right, guys, so in this video, we will use get record create default UI record API to get the default data which is needed to create a record in an object. So in today's example, I'll be using account object for that. Okay. And uh, from that account object, we will just try to retrieve the information like the list of fields, data type, API names, and maybe if fields are required or not. Okay. So we'll try to retrieve these informations. So I'll be using this get record create default. And as it says, use this wire adapter to get default information and data needed to create a record. And guys, trust me, this could be very, very useful. I mean, if you're working in a service-based company and let's say if you're having a requirement, like you have to show users uh, about the data which is needed to create this record. So in that case, you can just prepare a list of the data which is needed. And then before creating a record, you can just prompt the user maybe for the first time or maybe we can also have a skip or do not show this anymore option in that pop up. So it won't irritate the user basically. Okay, so basically this could be useful in some scenarios. Uh, okay, so let me just show you my code. I have already created a component. So guys, this is the component in which I have imported this cat record create default. Okay, underneath that, you may notice account object because we'll be using that. Okay, so guys, here I have uh, used an array to store the information. After that, I'm just wiring this get record create default. Okay, and it returning us data. So basically, the data is containing multiple things. So from those things, I'm just using fields that is, you know, needed to create the record that may, may be required fields, all the fields, uh, fields with data type. Okay, so let me show you the output. So this is the current output I'm generating from this uh, get record create default API. So basically, I'm having account name, data type and if field is required or not. But actually, we are getting much more than that so this is the complete data like you can see the layout type as well here object api name record type id there are some other fields as well like if it is collapsible or not so i i think like this could be a really useful and uh, handy uh, functionality if you really need it someday and uh, there are some other things also like if it is having a lookup, what is the uh, label of the fields, API name of the fields, permissions, like if it is editable or not. So these are the things which you will be getting using this uh, get create record, get record create default API. Okay, the name is quite difficult for that. Okay, anyways, so guys, uh, for this video, I'm just using fields here so that's why i have a, i have created a constant of fields and i'm just getting fields from data dot object dot account okay so basically using this i'll be getting fields and here if you will notice so uh i'm just creating a map of key and values okay where the key will be the name of that uh, field uh, let's say like oh, what is required let's say api name label data type okay and here basically i'm just assigning that data in the table itself which is create default data okay so this is basically the array in which we are just assigning these values okay and on the html side guys i have just used the basic table here 
okay and in that table i'm having few table headings then underneath that i have just created a for each loop and in that for each loop i'm just displaying data written from the javascript part which in our case is uh, label data type and if field is required i mean you can definitely modify the code as per required maybe you need to show the api name maybe you need to show some other data as well which is not available in my example but definitely i mean as per requirement you can always modify the functionality okay so guys uh, that it is for today and also i'll be having the complete code on my blog which is salesforcepole.com so do check that out as well if you need the complete code and feel free to modify it as per requirement and if you like today's video guys the subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching